Hi there, my name's Rocco. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Over here, I do Daz 3D video tutorials to help you to get the most out of your own renders. Now, over the last week or so, I've been asked a couple of times just how we preview strand-based hair in the viewport with the NVIDIA IRA preview tool. Uh, so I figured I'd do a quick video just to show how to do it. Now, most strand-based hair isn't set up to be previewed. Some hair is partially set up and others just aren't set up at all to be previewed. Now, I don't know why that's the case. We'll have to get a PA to answer that as to why they don't set it up originally to do it. Uh, but it's an easy enough thing to, to, to do yourself. And there's just three small things that you need to check and change to be able to do it. Uh, so as you can see, we've got our model here on the screen uh, and she has some strand based hair stuck on her head. Uh, but if we were to go across to the preview tool and have a look in NVIDIA IRA preview, all that we'll see is the hair cap and none of the actual hair. There might be the odd wispy strand, but we won't see any of the hair. Uh, now, although if I just come out of there, Although this will render out perfectly fine, if we hit render, we'd still like to see what's happening with our hair without having to, to start a new render each time and waste and all of this time over here just to get some sort of a preview. So if we cancel that, we're not interested in that at the moment and just shut the render window down. Uh, well, as I mentioned earlier on, it's very easy to sort out. And what we need to do is, first of all, we need to come in and select our model. So if we just open that up, click on our model, where well, we don't need to click the model really, find the hair and come down to, to where the hair is, which is here. Uh, and the only things that we need to do is we need to come down to the parameters tab, which is down here on my, my setup, open up the general tab and come down to these two little menu option, options here, which are simulation and line tessellation. Now we need to open up simulation first of all, and we get all this stuff in here, which I don't know what that is, but we need to come down to where it says preview PR hairs. Now some uh, strand base hair have this already set to on, and so you wouldn't really have to do this step. But if it is set to off like it is here, all you have to do is give it a click to turn it on and you can see already over in the viewport here it's already thickened all the hair out straight away it still won't preview at this point because we have to do one more thing and that second thing is to come across to line tessellation down here and come to this line tessellation sides morph which you've got up here uh, ignore this one this isn't really important uh, even though they're kind of named the same I think one must preview but just this top one it'll be set anything below three uh, so it'll be a set at zero there for me. All I need to do is come up and just change that to a three. Now we won't see anything happen here really, although it will be building a lot of the strand hair in memory or, or wherever it's storing that data. And as we can see there now, all the strand base sides are being created. So now when we come over to the preview and we'll just come straight back over to it, our hair is now visible in the preview as though we were doing a render. Now, I did mention earlier that there's three things that we have to check. We've done the two. Those are the main two, the simulation uh, PR preview and then this line tessellation sides up here if it's already set less than zero. But I did say there was three things we have to check. And the third thing we have to do, if that doesn't work, if I just come out of that so we're not taxing me system, is you need to have one of the main tools up here selected so if you've been playing with something uh else for instance that i've got mesh uh mesh grabber on here if i come across and just come across the mesh grabber and we go back to that and now again we go back to the preview we can see once again that we're only seeing the hair cap despite line tessellation being on three and despite the simulation having preview PR hairs available uh, selected to one now this catches me out so I, I know this and I've known this all along but it still catches me out times when these things are set up correctly and it's like well why am I still getting that incidentally you will also get a problem when you're rendering how out your hair if you don't have one of these tools selected so you've got to make sure one of these is selected I'll just click that one it'll do a little bit of rejigging and as you can see, as it's building up the, the preview scene, the hair is back. So those are the three things that we need. We need to have preview PR hairs on here under the simulation tab. 
and on line tessellation, we need the line tessellation sides to up to be three at least. I don't think it'll work with two, or you might just get a bit of wispy hair if it's set below three. And then make sure one of your primary tools up at the top or wherever your tools are in your UI is selected. And that's it. That's all it is, and you'll be able to preview all your PR or your, your strand base hair in all of your scenes while you're working on them. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, please give it a like down below and share it about. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the little notification bell down below. And that's it. If you've got any questions or comments, ask them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.